I bet everyone right now is talking about Lost Ark. This game just got released a few days ago for free to play, and I was lucky enough to get the game three days early. And I have been basically non-stop playing this game. So I'm just kind of putting together a random video here talking about my thoughts on Lost Ark so far. I have about 30 hours into the game. I'm level 47 as of right now. And in the background is just some footage of me as a lower level and then me as a higher level and me just showing off uh, a lot of different UIs and elements of the game in the background while I explain my thoughts and everything and maybe some tips to help you guys along the way if you're thinking about picking up Lost Ark because as I said, it is a free to play game, which is one of the huge advantages, but it also leads into a major disadvantage for a lot of people, which is the how the game makes money. Basically, since it's free to play, they need to make money somehow. And I guess some could call it pay to win. Some call it pay to convenience. I personally don't care. I'm not going to spend money. I mean, I spent money to get the game three days early. That's that's cap for me. Like I, I'm not doing anything past that. And I, I feel as if um, it doesn't affect me whether or not a person can pay their way to the top or not. Um, that's their choice. They're wasting their money on that. Um, when I can just do everything like that for free, you know, it might take me a little longer, but you know, I'm I'm the one with money in my wallet. You feel me? Okay. There's a lot of elements to this game and it might be a bit overwhelming to a new player. Even if you have played an MMO before, um, it's my favorite genre. So, you know, it, it you would think it wouldn't be difficult for me to grasp all these concepts, but it's very difficult. I'm three levels away from max level and I ain't even ready for max level. Like I, I, I like I need I need tutorials to the max. So like I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. All right. I'm just fighting. I'm just clicking buttons. But there's so many aspects like you see me running through in the background. You got report. You got, um, you know, your gear, your adventure tome, all the collections. You got mounts, pets like uh, like there's so there's so much to do and I can't even like name you everything off the top of my head. Like there's card collections, engravings, runes, enchanting, uh, a stronghold. You can you can go out on sea like all this stuff is so entertaining to me. And I actually have been uh, working on my the first con the first very continent I've been working on 100 percent adventure tome. Uh, I've gotten about I think 76% you'll see it somewhere here in the video but um, yeah so I'm working for that because uh, you get to 100% in that you get a, a token of some sort and I can trade that token for a specific amount so that is uh, something I'm working towards I'm looking forward to collecting you know mounts that's one of my favorite thing to do in MMOs so um, yeah th this game is just so entertaining like uh, I'm having so much fun like I'll, I'll get on for a couple hours and then I'll realize like I need to get off for a little bit and then I'll get off for like maybe 10 20 minutes and I'm back on for a couple hours just like questing trying to get to max level and I, I play a demon hunter I already want to switch classes like I, I don't think it's gonna be my main I, obviously I'm gonna get it get her to uh, level 50 because you know she's three levels away I'm not just gonna leave her at 47 but I don't think she's um, the person that I'm going to be maining I actually am thinking about switching to paladin um, that just seems the most entertaining for me so once I get her to 50 we'll see what's up maybe maybe I'll uh, I'll quest through the main storyline a bit more and uh, yeah we'll see what happens but there's so much to do in this game like I don't even know like where to start so let me try to throw out a few uh, tips for y'all coming into this game so if you're in a guild or if you're not in a guild I would join one immediately and I would start donating your silver to that guild every day because it will give you materials to uh, do certain things in the end game. I'm not really sure what those certain things do quite yet because, you know, I'm still very new. Only 30 hours in this game. But, um, yeah, join a guild, start donating to that guild. That's what I've realized. Also, the stronghold, it may be... Uh, I don't know how much I like the stronghold aspect of it. I thought I was going to like it more going into it. Um, you know, it's just kind of your your basic click, do task, then go back to doing what you're doing. So don't forget to go to your stronghold and uh, do some research. 
uh, send your uh, people out on on the boat or whatever and you know just go back to doing what you were doing next tip i got for y'all is to uh just save everything you get like if you get some chests and you don't really know like what to pick or what to do with it just just save it till end game bro like i've i i need to start a new character because i i didn't save anything i'm clicking all these like engraving things i don't know what they do like i'm picking the wrong ones and now i'm screwed because i don't got i'm um, three levels away from end game i don't got none of that so I, i'm really debating on uh uh switching my main character just because of this soul uh purpose but you know keep up with your trade skills you know foraging logging all that if you see a tree chop it down i'm not saying chop down everything do down everything but you know you want to get that stuff eventually for end game so you know if you see it you might as well get it i mean the game just came out what you rushing for like what 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 is you rushing to get to 50 and start doing these raids and dungeons for bro just chill pick a few flowers cut a few trees down bro and just chill enjoy arcasia because this is an amazing game and there's so much to enjoy there's so much to do and i'm very passionate about it so i actually had to upgrade my computer to get this game to work properly so i had eight gigabytes of ram to begin with and it, it was running um actually when i first when i very first started playing it was not running okay i was getting like 15 20 fps all low settings in my computer it was tweaking okay so i ended up cleaning some stuff like I, I changed some settings or whatever uh closed like a bunch of apps bro and i got my uh got my ram down and i actually got up to like 40 or 50 fps with eight gigabytes ram but i ended up actually adding another eight gigabytes to my computer i don't know why i didn't have 16 gigabytes to begin with but now i'm running the game on max settings uh, i'm getting 60 to 70 fps when i'm not recording so when i'm recording it, it you might be able to tell it cuts down to about like 50 45 maybe but it's really uh it's nothing crazy so uh yeah if you don't have 16 gigabytes of ram or at least 12 i would recommend it because whenever i am running the game it looks like i'm using about 10 gigabytes uh, of ram so i would i would upgrade your ram if if you haven't already um also don't rush through the game enjoy the game enjoy everything it has to offer so uh i think that's pretty much it oh, if you guys want more lost arc videos shit i mean hit me up leave a comment or something i don't know i'm just making videos for fun i'm in college i'm doing a lot of shit but uh, i'm talking to this microphone right now so uh i guess i'll see y'all later Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, I'll see y'all later.